The O&M base began construction back in October 2021 and it's taken around 14 months to complete so we completed in December 2022 and we've just moved in the building in January 23. So the building was built with uh, net zero carbon in mind so it's very much being built with uh, recycled materials in mind, recycled steel, wood rather than steel in some of the structures. We have solar panels on the roof that provides most of our energy needs. So every thought has been around um, net zero, we operate a renewable wind farm, we should try and get everything associated with our renewables as well and there's a journey towards that, so everything from what we can do in the building to make us self-sufficient to renewable, whether that's electric forklifts, electric telehandlers, uh, utilising EV charges for, for vehicles that's fed from the solar panels, that's what we're trying to achieve. And the more and more offshore wind projects and renewable projects in general that are built, that's creating more green energy for even the supply chain to utilise in their manufacturing process. So what we'll have in here will be a majority of service kits ready for the turbines to load onto the SOV. We will have uh, spares, uh, consumers, it could be electrical components, we have a humidified area for electrical components, we'll have test equipment in here. Uh, to take offshore, we'll have consumables, maybe cooling for the turbines and essentially those will come through the goods inward area, they will be checked and then put into stores here. We'll have goods out area which is then customs clearance before they go into the service operation vessels. We'll have quarantine areas for any components that we may find defective. So essentially what this warehouse will be will be the, the stop gap, essentially an early storage for our SOVs and then the spares will transfer to our SOVs as it comes in. It's, it's over 130 kilometres from the, the, the Yorkshire coast in the in the UK. It's a seal time for uh, 10, 11 hours to get out of Dogger Bank and even further to get to the Dogger Bank see another, another potential six hours. So we need to make sure that when we get the right resource to the stems, we have the right components, the right tools at the right time to actually do that work. So it's not as if we can just pop back for them. And our vessels, when they leave, they're offshore for 14 days. So, so our offshore personnel will work on a 14 day rotation on our service operation vessels. To give it a bit of context, uh, kind of little fun facts, I think um, if, you, uh, if you consider from the, the sea level to the highest point in a turbine, it's two and a half times the size of Big Ben. And it, if you consider a blade, each one of our blades is 107 metres long. That's twice the wingspan of the Angel of the North. So that kind of gives a bit of context to the, the size of these turbines. You can imagine on the size and scale of Dogger Bank, we have a lot of control and systems out there so there's thousands upon thousands of alarms from our wind turbines from our cables from our transmission system and all of that information comes back to our control room onshore we then take all of that and put it into an overarching what we call SCADA system and that allows our engineers to keep an eye on all of the health of the assets and if anything alarms in the wind farm we are notified very early on so we can plan that intervention so we can plan with our engineers and our planners to, to move vessels around the wind farm preventively rather than waiting for something to fail. Yeah, well obviously to, to help our technicians and offshore personnel work, uh, each one of the turbines are Wi-Fi capable. So that's generated through the fibres, through the, the interray cables and into the export cables back to shore. So that gives that uh, ability to have that Wi-Fi offshore. And that allows people to have uh, electronic systems, to bring drones up, to be able to communicate people to back on the, sh the vessel or, or to shore to get that to interaction going on a daily basis. And that's important when you, you're so far offshore as Dog Bank is. Mm -hmm. 
safety is our fundamental number one priority for, for anyone. If we send people off to work, we want to make sure they come back safely. So safety is always paramount to us. That's that's number one in everything we do. In any work task or anything, it's always about the safety of those personnel. We have conditions out there are really harsh, particularly in Dogger Bank, and that was why it's important that when we we did the supply with North Star Renewables, we are producing purpose-built vessels for that environment, and that will allow our technicians to to basically walk to work, is what we call it. So, so these SOVs they would attach to the foundations out there. That would give us a a walking platform so our technicians would be walk straight from the vessel to the turbine and one of the things we were very um, aware of is around safe by design in operations and we want to make that environment as safe as possible for people working offshore and two of the main safety risks in offshore wind is lifting operations and manual handling so the way we've designed that through uh, Wood Tilstead who was our foundation designer on there and our operations teams and also North Star Renewables as a vessel is to create a way of work and that we can move the tools and equipment from the stores on the vessel up to the walking platform, take them straight across the walking platform and into the turbine where they're lifted. So we've removed over a million lifts that people would need to do in the, the offshore wind lifetime. So that, that's a significant improvement and uh, reducing risk to personnel and in fact because of that we won uh, a recent award with Renewables UK in the Global Offshore Wind Health Safety and Wellbeing Award for that innovation. It's, this is power and generation for our children and, and, and the future. This is you know, net zero. This is showing how we can produce power on a large scale uh, from renewable energy. Absolutely excited. Can't can't wait. It's uh, see for me. It's a great privilege uh, to lead the largest offshore wind farm on the construction into operations. Mm -hmm.